Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, we've got some of the Oracle cards pulled already in we'll clarify a few of the oracle cards on on camera but let's talk about the cards here so aquarius it, it just looks like um some of you are on the precipice you're at the, the very peak of some greatness of achieving whatever goal dream you have for yourself but you might be getting in your own way you might be putting the cart before the horse the universe just wants you to rely on them yes you are a co-creator in your existence but it's not for you to be getting ahead of yourself okay because you have the card of your commitment is being tested so either you need to question your commitment and really look at how much you want this thing or this person or this place or whatever it may be um it's a yes but it's a not right now answer for you it's still something working itself out in the heavenlies in the the divine order i don't know the universe is helping you but they don't need help okay and they don't need you to do things that upsets the order okay some of you just need to take a step back you need to relax understand that prosperity lies ahead it says that you could be dealing with a taurus or your north node could be in taurus oh okay. i'm getting north node anyhow um you need to take a step back, pamper yourself, get a massage, give a massage, uh, mind, body, spirit, do yoga, uh, practice breath work, do something that calms your nerve because you're on edge right now because you really, really want this thing, this person, place, or thing. I don't know. You want it so badly that you're willing to sacrifice or maybe even sabotage, not intentionally, but unintentionally, just because you don't trust. You don't trust in universe spirit, okay? You have to take a step back and just, you know, lean on that everlasting hand, you know? Um, with this card, Prosperity Lies Ahead, it says that eventually you're gonna have all the money you need to buy that one thing that you're thinking about, to do that one thing, okay? But we also have a yes, but not right now answer with your commitment is being tested. So do know that, all right? Uh, we also have uh, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse, that something's leaving. Doors will be shut. They will never open again, okay? This is the conclusion. And, you know, the story concludes. Boom. It's done. So you also have an energy of something being done, okay? And then you have an energy of something new starting because this prosperity lies ahead. Also can talk about the start of a new relationship. Now that can be romantic, platonic, business, but it's the start of a new relationship and it's prosperous, prosperity, right? Uh, conclusions are within reach. You, you need to release again and forgive. Don't hold on to it. Just forgiving somebody doesn't mean that they were right or that you know uh yeah that they were right it just means you absolve them of all of what they've done and you can actually release it you don't have to go to a particular person place thing whatever and give this you know long drawn out speech of how you forgive if you are not in a place where you want to talk to this person see this person or maybe they're not on the earth anymore you can write a letter uh you can read it aloud you can keep it burn it you know throw it away but you need to get it out you need to let forgiveness happen in your life because something is ending and then you got new beginning here but not before you do that forgiving work there okay um the cards want you to know we'll go to where you are and then we'll go to the advice so where you are aquarius is elder and then sky father some of you have a, a real strong um relationship with universe god spirit you know you speak to your god each and every day they're in everything that you do they're guiding you again the sky father comes out because it talks about guidance 
you know, it talks about divine order. It talks about manipulation, you know, in a good way. Um, the universe is manipulating things here on the earthly plane so that it can align for you and you can, you know, have what you want, right? Um, but it, it, again, get out of your own way. Spirit doesn't need help. You need to fall back. You need to go relax. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, then you need to learn, you know, but the reading just looks like yes, but not now. That could be in terms of a relationship. That could be in terms of business matters, money matters, whatever. But it's yes, but not right now. Okay. You also have elders. So it's like you don't have to live up to or lean into, you know, ancestral family uh, ties or um, family uh, mishaps or just family lineage. Whatever happened with the family doesn't mean it's going to happen with you. Whatever happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen with you. If you're coming from a lineage where there was a lot of poverty, poverty mindset, drug abuse, um, mental disorder, anything that is not, you know, valuable to you, doesn't add to you. You don't have to, um, you know, fall in line with that. You can you know, move beyond ancestral patterns. You can break the bond. You can break the cord. You can break that quote unquote generational curse, if you will. You can break that. You know, you can be the first. Um, your elders and your ancestors want you to know that if, you know, they had done any wrong in their lifetime and now you're reaping that. Uh, it's funny, this card says that they want to tell you that they, they apologize for that. You know, this is like the Bible verse, you know, the sins of the father are following the, the children, you know. So your elders want to tell you, look, if you're experiencing tough times, if you have had a tough life, it might have been because we did something and we sorry. So, um, you know, do what you will with that that information there. Um, and you can move beyond that. Um you can, you know, offer, offer recompense. However, I don't know, you know, you can, um, back to forgiveness. You can, you know, ask for forgiveness for your ancestral line. And maybe you knew that your, your lineage, your family line isn't that wonderful. And maybe you're trying to work that energy off for yourself. So yeah, you know, um, you can break those bonds there. The advice for you is they want you to know that shit is getting better, baby. Improving health, physical health, mental, emotional, financial health, improving health. It was bad, right? Because if something is improving, it was, you know, it was declining. So something is improving, um, it's getting better. Do know that you have a definite no. Well, not a definite no, because it doesn't have the exclamation mark because there's two no's in this deck. So you just have a no, like a solid quiet no we're gonna clarify what that is but then you also have uh, a year from now I feel like you're a year from now Aquarius your life is gonna look completely different especially with prosperity lies ahead it just says that things are just going up 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 for you you want it to go up 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 right now granted everybody does you know fall in line with that but um Things are working out in your favor in divine time and divine order, not yours. And you have to, you know, you have to ask spirit to help you with your, your unbelief or your distrust uh, or your faith so that you can continue to uh, persevere because it might be tough times for uh, some Aquarius out there. But do know that, you know, if you've been doing the work, you know, things are going up for you. All right. You are a co-creator in your environment in your life so let's start to clarify uh we're going to definitely clarify this no answer okay so let's see what is this no answer for aquarius what's this no answer okay no six of wands no promotion no public display no proposal what is this no, what is this note? Four of Cups. I don't think you're going to take to something or someone. Uh, it, it, the Four of Cups also talks about meditation, taking a, a break, 
maybe um also it talks about being so self-centered that you can't see what's around you uh, missing out missing the blessing or the gift that's before you okay can we please clarify this for aquarius what does this no answer i don't know if it could be dealing with the cancer maybe a leo cancer leo cusp 20 percent cancer 20 percent. let's see knight of pentacles oh somebody could be standing still somebody is definitely they're committed devoted to you when i see that knight of pentacles come out it always says devotion even if maybe this person doesn't show you their devotion and their dedication in the way you feel like they should be showing it and it, it and it's always a no for you like no because they aren't doing or they did this or they didn't do or I want this or I don't know it's 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 um a very confusing message here what do we have give me one more card for it because it's like no it could even be saying no this person wants to propose you got to get out of your own way what is this clear message for the Aquarius yeah Aquarius the lovers I think somebody is in love with you they see you as the perfect partner they really want a committed solid relationship with you but if you don't get out of your own way with the four of cups and being so self-centered and just being too um, emotionally withdrawn to the point where you know every little thing annoys you again it talks about missing opportunity missing uh missing out on the blessing that's before you is this the aquarius missing out yes yeah, six of swords that's an aquarius card second deacon aquarius so i believe that's these sorry january um 27 28 this i don't know second deacon aquarius look it up so it might be you aquarius you got to resolve to get over the hurt from the past just make sense of moving forward if you stay here and you keep meditating on what was it or what was or what is or you miss out on that that cup you miss out on that blessing so aquarius it looks like something really foundational long term is coming in for you is here for you oh you got six 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 coming out but it's they're all healthy healthy six cards i think you had that in the last reading lovers six card six of swords six of wands so it's like the universe is trying to bring you balance but you might be missing out on something if you if the if the answer if the question is is this person good is this am i supposed to leave this person alone or are they bad for me the answer is no they really want to move forward with you all right aquarius what is this prosperity lies ahead for aquarius choose the soulmate journey there with the lovers because it'll have long lasting implication like you'll always think about why didn't you do or vice versa this is how somebody's thinking in regards to you so you know get it right like get it right prosperity lies ahead yet yeah, things are moving fast for you aquarius eight of wands is and also some of you this card it talks about law of attraction some of you've been doing your energy work to bring in more money more opportunity prosperity all together the eight of wands says that obstacles will be removed life will go at a fast pace for you eight of wands talks about travel travel romance it talks about maybe even on the flip side obsession it talks about sex it talks about other people's money um you have a lot of options um maybe even a lot of different people um, vying for your attention here eight of wands a lot of yeah a lot of love options here something in a relationship is going to go fast it could even be rekindling and working on this it may be going so fast that you may even feel like you need to take a break from it with the nine of wands showing up with the three of pentacles and the, the page of wands somebody may even present to you like let's move in together somebody wants to do something really foundational with you and it's like whoa this is happening quick or soon like what am i supposed to do well it's what you've been manifesting is what you've been praying for 
what is concluding for the Aquarius? What is ending? What is being completely eclipsed out of the Aquarius life? The star card. Okay, so um, it could be another Aquarius. If not, just uh, what is being, what is leaving your life is uh, hurt, pain. You getting on the right, um, getting on the right path with yourself. Really loving you, really accepting you, accepting you fully. Chakras being aligned. Um, just this misalignment with yourself, with other people that's leaving you. Maybe even some friend groups could leave with the full moon eclipse. Because the star card governs groups of people, friends. Can we clarify the star card? What is leaving Aquarius life? What is being eclipsed? The seven of wands, this fight, this struggle, this having to protect yourself and persevere. And stand your ground against I, I feel like it's like people coming at you you know always coming for you okay because you you express yourself so freely so so openly um you're an angel the star is the angel here um sent to heaven I mean sent, sent from heaven to earth um so it's like Maybe you're not going to have to always be so proactive in defending yourself, claiming, making, you know, stating your claim here. You're not going to have to always defend yourself. You've got what you wanted. Something is leaving. Yeah. Maybe this, this fight, fighting for what you have, trying to keep it. Yeah. Okay. The Knight of Cups there. Looks like you're going to have some inspiration from spirit. You've been in the fight. You've been the warrior. You've been the knight. You've been on conquest. You've gained perspective, emotional um, perspective about, you know, who you are, what you have to offer. Wow. The hermit card. Yeah, there's been a shift in your personality. What is leaving you is maybe self-sacrificing um, energy. Uh, letting this could also be Scorpio. This could be another Aquarius. This could be uh, a Virgo. You're becoming a guru in something. You're becoming very aware of your presence and your power too. This is a really good reading, especially for some of you who, and maybe even in friend groups, you just kind of cower down just to keep the peace at times. And if it wasn't to keep the peace, it was because you don't always want to seem like the rebel, like the Aquarius is. Um, you may also have been the very pretty one, the beautiful one, because the star card talks about beauty, even fashion. But maybe you even, you try to bring other people up or you try to put them on your level or you, you, it was genuine. It wasn't a, a thing of uh, I'm up here and you're down there. But people didn't see it for what it was. Uh, they maybe thought you were disingenuous or they wanted you what you have. They wanted to take your spot. They wanted to take your shine, your thunder, even when you were willing to share it. With the Seven of Wands, it's like you always had to fight for, you know, maybe in friendships, in groups. Uh, when you came loving, giving with the Star card, but there were still people at you because there's something about you, your aura, your essence, which you bring to the table, any table you sit at. And it's not even a, a thing of conceit, being conceited uh, or boastful, but it's just you. You had to always fight because of you, just being you, what is innately embedded in you. You had to fight. It was always a fight. It was always a disagreement. It was always, you know, jealousy. It was always this. It was always that. And if someone really got to know you at the very core of you, they'd understand that, you know, you are a person of friendship. You value friendship. You take it serious. And you're so willing to share in whatever it is you have. So it's like that is leaving you, I guess, because some of you are just going to realize that with the Hermit card, it might be lonely at the top. And this might be, you know, with the star card, sometimes with Aquarius, you know, you might sit in different groups of people your entire life. There's always a changing of groups. And maybe that's just your, your, uh, 
your feet in life. That's maybe that's what you're gonna have to, you know, go through. You might have a few lifelong friends, one, two, but there'll always be many groups because of just, you know, the jealousy. Um, what else are we clarifying? Let's clarify a year from now and then we'll, we'll close out a year from now. Whoa, the sun card. I wanted to pop out the deck a year from now. You might be pregnant. You might have a baby. You might have a baby boy. You're just going to be so happy. The sun comes out and it shines on you, Aquarius. Um, just happiness, playfulness, joy, uh, marriage, contentment, commitment, fulfillment. Whoa, that's going to pop out. What is this? What is this? seven of swords with the sun card you might even have to hide how happy you are they're going to be people spying on you looking at you you're going to really see people for who they are some of these people around you were negative nancy's i just heard uh, so that means that they were smiling your face and then they wanted to take your place oh ace of swords yeah you're going to see the truth of the matter that some people were uh masquerading you know, acting like one thing when it was really another, trying so hard to get away with it. Whoa, Paige, it's, we got nothing but, this was a test, you know, a test and a trial. Again, the Seven of Swords talks about loss of friendship also. So it's like maybe you're going to see um, why these people had to leave your life and they're going to see you shine and bright and they might even want to come back into your life because the seven of swords can even talk about being the subject of gossip someone spying sneaking you know asking around about you the ace of swords trying to get some truth some clarity page of swords again spying the subject of gossip pettiness uh, someone wanting to talk to you someone you don't talk to someone who you released the burden was released the toxicity was released the karma was released somebody who you gave a try with could be even a Sagittarius it could be anybody though um this person's hiding their face this is definitely somebody here who's trying to stay hidden in terms of what you're doing and how you're doing it and how you're doing hmm so this person wants to know how you're doing so they don't have access to you not direct access they have to go around different channels interest in Aquarius these two cards popped out of the deck before um I was even laying out any cards the uh two of swords and the justice card so okay so I just got be weary of cutting loved ones off okay Aquarius because there's something you don't see so there's someone there is someone that you loved love loved or love be weary of cutting loved ones off. Could be a Libra. You can have Libra in your chart. Two Libra cards, Justice and then Two of Swords. It says that reconciliation is on the table, but you and a particular person or a group of people need to have a plan, a course of action that you'll take so that this can be a lasting reconciliation. It can't be that, you know, we say, okay, we're back friends and then it's quiet because then it could just dissipate so what are you going to do after that what does it look like what does friendship look like it can't be that you take a, a romantic partner back you hop in the sack and then it's over and then you're like well what's next you know no it's okay so we're boyfriend and girlfriend or we're gonna try to make a date night every week and then maybe we're gonna talk about engagement i mean you have to have some type of plan but to just come back together with no plan and no cooperation is it, it's going to okay it's going to fail um so the two of swords also talks about negotiation compromise because there's a power struggle between you and someone else this is for my older aquarius men and women you know as you get older you get set in your ways you want it your way and you know it's very little room for uh compromise um and even when you do, there's resentment. So you're going to have to learn how to, you know, be softer. Let the, you know, you can't be so rigid, stern. You're going to have to let something um, compromise, negotiation there. Okay. Uh, justice card. It says the scales of justice are being balanced. Something is, is working out in your favor. You don't see it. Back to Sky Father. You're being guided, divine guidance. Um the divine working something out for you you don't see it you may can feel it but you don't see it you're getting um some clarity 
and you're getting the scales balanced because there's an upset okay and what was going on in your life in your financial life i'm seeing uh, maybe in your romantic life there could even be an apology on the table for you you giving it or you receiving it or both i don't know um there also could be a repayment of debts or this is what you need to look into or something is um or you go to repay something money will come into you where you'll be able to repay uh also with the justice card and it talks about power because he's wearing a red robe i know in these cards you don't see but it talks about power being restored and we talked about that in one of these cards here you know getting your power back you know because it's back in balance like a decision was made something in your favor it could be legal um, legal matters you're waiting for an approval you're waiting for a yes answer two yes cards delay but yes uh what else do we have here with the justice card somebody could feel karmically indebted to you and there's a lot of karma that needed to be worked out between you and someone else and it looks like it, it has things will be balanced here to where maybe you guys can move forward you have to get a personal reading to inquire about that thank you aquarius i hope that this reading really blessed you if it did let me know how it blessed you down in the comment section also you could you know let the exchange happen you could buy me a coffee yep the link is below if you feel moved to go ahead and do so catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i answer questions and i do a collective reading aquarius uh what else do we have going on that's all for me have a really good week take care many blessings to you